And as you can see, Michael played a huge part in this game. And again, I'm trying to pick off this Nexus, but I don't want to like get too greedy. And just picking off this one Zealot, and now it's, he has no Zealots and I have 6. As you can see, this is why Micro comes in handy. And now I have 8 Zealots and he has 0. Micro just made me save 800 Minerals, 8 Zealots, and Micro has basically won me this game, almost, right now. And now I'm going to pick off this Nexus. So with Micro, as you can see, this game, I can't even stress how important Micro is. This game is basically showing you guys how important Micro is. Micro has gotten me, has gotten me 8 Zealots ahead, has killed the Nexus, has killed a few probes, and has basically fucked him over really badly. This is why Micro is so, so damn key. As you guys can see, I just won just because of Micro. And if it wasn't for Micro, Daxus game would be so evenly balanced. But just because of Micro, I'm a whole expansion ahead. I'm 8 zealots ahead, and I have more tech than him. So this game, again, I don't even need to say Micro is important, because this game just showed how badly Micro was important. And, again... My, micro your shit like play if you want to play starcraft at a high level micro is key of course macro is more important later on in the game but micro you can't just you can't win without micro well you could i guess but like still my, micro is very important and yeah so now i have eight zealots and he has a few zealots so now i'm just gonna i'm just gonna attack but i want to see I, I was trying to count zealots while i was attacking and i think he has more or if he even has one less he has his zealots are higher life than mine so yeah i'm gonna bring in my next six fresh zealots and they're gonna do the damage while my other zealots take the damage and again multitasking while I'm doing this I'm not just fo focusing 100% on micro I'm also macroing while I'm microing and so I'm not just getting screwed over with my micro because macroing is as important as microing if not more important uh, for what mo most people say I even so I even think it's more important but early game I know micro is more important and so now I'm gonna go attack him again because I think I can pick him off and again pumping dragoons now because dragoons obviously they are important and I have enough more zealots than him like there's no challenge here like as you can see I have too many more zealots than he does I think at least I'm not sure I can't count that much and now he's using his probes and with his probes I'm pretty sure he's gonna win this battle but I don't even care because my expansion is so much further than it and he did gas stack as you can see but gas stack I'm pretty sure it's illegal on IC cuff and other big tournaments like that but it's alright because this is not IC cuff and he has a zealot in my base so I have to try to run all my shit this is kinda smart of him to bring this out in, in my base because now I have to, it got me distracted very badly, and he killed he killed a few stuff here too, and I lost all my zealots surprisingly, but he probably lost a bunch of his stuff too, so you know it's all right. And I don't know why I'm not microing this. I think it's just because one on one I don't really need a micro, but I'm kind of dying if I'm not microing. So yeah, I kind of have to micro this now, and I'm just waiting for this next dragoon to come out because when it comes out, then I can uh, two versus one is obviously no competition there. But I don't want this one Dragoon to die carelessly because that Dragoon is very helpful and I'm not going to just randomly make it die. And my building placement is kind of gay because it's screwing me over when it comes to my Dragoons being able to come out. But it's alright. And right now, again, just massing up Dragoons and I'm going to go attack him soon. I'm getting a Forge because I want to get cannons in case he tries to temp drop or some shit like that because that's probably his only hope for winning right now, temp dropping and getting like every single of my probes on one line. That would make him for very far ahead. Well, it would make us even, I guess. But yeah, and now I'm going to get my third expansion because I feel like I need it. And now, again, this game made recorded just to stress how important Micro is and to tell you about my clan. But yeah, um, with my Dragoons, I'll show you guys why Dragoon Micro is also very important. I don't plan to pick off any, like, trying to win with this army. I plan to just soften up his whole army. And then when I go in with my real force, he's going to get fucked. And as you can see, he is outnumbering me. But I guarantee you I will win this just because my Micro is going to be so... Um, Dragoons and Zealots, there's no competition there. Like, one Dragoon, like, theoretically, could take out 50 Zealots. But it would take a shitload of time. But yeah, as you can see, just microing like crazy. And he is dying just because my Micro is so superior then his well it's not it's technically his, it's not his fault because zealots cannot be microed efficiently versus dragoons unless you are just really good but well unless you're like really really good like a plus st a plus level on ic cup but yeah um as you can see now see he's trying to come around the side so he can pincer my units in but that's not gonna work because i'm one step ahead of that i already know he's gonna do that so i'm running all my units and again he's getting a few hits off but it's all right because I'm getting more hits off, and if I'm getting more hits than he is, then that's all that matters. And again, I'm not killing his whole army here, I'm just softening it up for my real force. And when my real force does come in, then he's gonna be screwed because, again, I'm just, as you can see, I'm just macroing like crazy, and I'm just, ma again, I'm just macroing like crazy, and this is just to soften up his units. I could attack him right now, but I'd rather just keep softening him up, and then when I do attack him, he's gonna have nothing, his units are gonna be all at one life, or and he's gonna have very few units, and then he'll just die. As you can see, macroing like crazy. 
and Mechring is just killing him so badly right now. And yeah, um, just again softening up his units. That's very key if you're a Dragoon or Zealots. What Dragoons do, they're not intended to kill Zealots, they're intended to soften him up. And as you can see, all I'm doing here is softening him, his zealots up. Softening it, when I say softening it up, I mean getting them all to low life. So when I do attack him with my real army, then he's going to be screwed. And now, I don't know, he's trying to attack me, but he's not going to succeed because, as you can see, I'm just microing like crazy. And one of my dragoons is, might get picked off because there's low life. Oh yeah, one of my dragoons just got picked off, but it's alright because I have six left. And again, just microing like mad. And again, just, macro, just microing like crazy. And... Um, just pumping everything, and I'm getting cannons up because I, I, I don't want to get temp dropped on my bases, and getting cannons on both my bases just to be safe. And again, just uh, uh, transferring my post to my third base because now I got this base up. And so yeah, um, this is basically done. I don't know. Yeah, okay. Now he's trying to attack me with his last effort, and that's not gonna do shit. And now, yeah, as you can see here, I have too much more units than him. And this is GG, guys. Hope you, hope you enjoyed this video. Look forward to more videos. And peace out, guys. GG.